Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you the tips and tricks of taking photos with your iPhone. So a lot of people on my page have been asking, how do you get those photos? How do you get the kittens to look at you? And I thought, well, let me show you. I take all my pictures on my iPhone. Um, I think pictures are really important, especially for the shelters. If you can get them good photos of your kittens, this can help get them adopted. Uh, they're also important for your own social media pages. This can, once again, help get them adopted, but it can also bring in people to your page, which might mean more money for your page and donations and being able to help more cats. So I'm gonna just show you what I do to get photos on my iPhone. It's nothing crazy, nothing fancy, and hopefully it helps you out. Okay, to begin with, you're gonna need something sparkly, shiny, that makes some noise. Do not use something super loud. Don't even use like a bell shaker because sometimes that can actually scare them off because it's too much. So I use this wand by Go Cat. Uh, it's got some feathers, it's sparkly, and it makes noise, but it doesn't make a ton of noise. So usually the kittens don't that are shy or don't like run off because it's too much. The second toy that I use is just these crinkle balls. I buy them in bulk perfect amount of noise and I can literally just hold it right in front of them, drag it around, get them to look at the camera. All right, tip number two is going to be using your natural light. A lot of the times the best photos I get are literally in my window sills. So I'm going to show you a few examples of photos. I'm gonna show you photos that are taken either in the dark at night, just using the overhead lights, or that are taken um, on the opposite side of the room that's in the shadows. If you can take it where the kittens are looking towards the light in the windowsill, that is where you're gonna get the best photos and where you're gonna get the most details on their face. So you wanna use natural sunlight during the day and you wanna have their faces towards the sunlight not facing away. I'll show you some really good examples of photos I've gotten using natural sunlight. So here's a great example where you can see both. You can see the kittens on the left who have their face towards the sun. You can see so much detail. They look adorable. They all look adorable, of course. And then on the right, you can see where Prince Charming, he had stepped into the shadows. So you cannot see the details in his face as well. So that natural sunlight really does matter. A really good tip is to wait until they're tired. So I always go in, I feed them, then I let them play for like 20 to 30 minutes and then I try to take a picture. On the other hand, if you walk in and they're all asleep, boom, that's also when I can try to take a photo. But I find that if you try to do it while they're all running crazy, they're just gonna run away and wanna have fun. So play with them a bunch, then come back, then try to take your photo. Okay, now don't laugh at me, but one of the best things you can do is make weird noises. When there are noises they have never heard before, they start to look. So use your toys and use your weird noises like whistles or weird bird noises, whatever, and do it right in front of them and try to get them all to look. If I need to, I take my little crinkle ball, I get it closer to their face, and then pull it back. And then I'm gonna pull it back right behind my iPhone because that's where I want them to look. So I'm gonna show you a few photos that are gonna be really silly of me making a bunch of weird noises and throwing my wand toy around and hopefully you'll get the idea. Look up here, look up here. Good job, look up here. Ready everybody, look alive, look alive. And to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Over here, over here, up here, down here, up here, down here. Okay, there you go. Good job. Okay, so they just woke up from nighttime. I came in, it's like 11 p.m. So they're still sleepy. And that's a great time to get a photo, though it's not the best time for light. Hi! And you'd snap it there, and snap it there. Hi! You get their attention. Hi! Uh, hi! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And I 
put this right behind the camera. Just like that. There you go. I sound great, don't I? Anyways, moving on. Um, finally, I use the Retouch app. Now, I'm not good at Photoshop, so if I can use this app, so can you. Um, I just go in and you can get rid of things like a little piece of litter that was on the floor or maybe a cord that was plugged in. I'm going to show you how I edit a photo. Okay, so in the app, I've chosen the photo I want to edit. At the bottom, I am going to choose the object removal, which is on the left. Then I'm going to pick the brush and I'm going to zoom in on what I want to remove. So things like that little piece of litter. I'm going to go over to the mat and I'm going to draw over that and push go and it will remove that. Never looks perfect, but you can kind of play around with it. I mean, usually people don't notice. So I'm going to go over on the left. I'm going to get rid of this on the dresser. Just make sure you fill it in. You can always push the back button if you didn't like how it turned out. So like there, you know, you can see that it's still there a little bit, but when you zoom out, you really don't see it. So then I wanted to go in and get rid of the piece on the bottom left drawer, the baby lock, just to kind of show you how I do it. So I zoom in. Once again, make sure you go around the shadows because those shadows will be left just like that. So then you got to get rid of the shadow as well. Then you go over, do the same thing with the baby lock and the shadow. And again, we're going to retouch it after we get rid of that piece. Now we're going to get rid of the shadow again. And a little bit more. And once we zoom out, we really won't see that. As soon as it looks good to you, you can just hit that upper right button to export it, save it as a copy, and you're done. I very rarely go into my photos and actually use all the different contrast and saturation things. But if I do, I mainly just go to the brightness and turn the brightness up a little bit. Um, this photo didn't really need it, but often that's the only thing I wind up using in the iPhone uh, actual editing apps. I know there's more people can do and you can mess around with it, but I just don't find it necessary. I hope this was helpful. I know it's nothing crazy, um, but even just using these will help you get better pictures of your kittens. And let me know below if it worked. Post on Facebook in the comments under this if uh, it helped you get better photos. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching.